We're really interested in uncovering and also amplifying those stories that have not been told about heat and health. My name is Chris Pearson and I'm the Principal Investigator on the Welcome Discovery Awards Melting Metropolis Everyday Histories of Heat and Health in London, New York and Paris since 1945. Melting Metropolis is a project that seeks to investigate the ways in which Londoners, New Yorkers and Parisians have experienced high temperatures, how sometimes they've embraced heat and other times they've sought to protect themselves from high temperatures. They've been resourceful in finding ways to keep cool, like cracking a fire hydrant in New York. We're also really interested in exploring the histories and the past, present and future of climate justice and injustice because people experience heat differently in cities, whether that's due to their class, gender, race or disabilities. We're a team of geographers, a community engagement manager and a research artist. We're digging into archives, looking at diaries. We're writing academic journal articles and books and doing a range of community and public engagement events. So far, these have included painting a mural in Summerstown, doing drawing heat workshops in New York. We've also done exhibitions. It's really important to engage a variety of communities in our work because historically certain voices have been obscured from the debates around climate change and the thinking around heat and health. We chose New York, London and Paris as these are three global cities that have been at the heart of industrialisation, capitalism and colonialism, all three factors that have driven the climate crisis that we're living in now. These are also very, very diverse cities Another thing about these cities is that they have a lot of 19th century buildings. So there's a real challenge about how we adapt these buildings for the summers that are coming. For us as a team, it's really important that we take a humanities approach to heat and health. We've known about the science of climate change, climate breakdown for decades now. We've known about the solutions, but we haven't started to challenge or critique sufficiently the political, economic and cultural structures that maintain the climate crisis. So humanities research gives us the tools to do that. Welcome has been a great funder. Welcome encourages interdisciplinary research projects, so we were able to bring together a big team that wouldn't have been possible with other funders. And also, we have funding for six years. It gives us the opportunity to build a really in-depth relationship with communities and with our partners, and also to build a legacy for the project.